Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something interesting. Let's call this a Father's Day project. Yeah. As you might, you guys might know, I've got a 2015 GMC Yukon Denali and it's a great vehicle. I can lug around these kids in it. But I, uh, I always wanted to see, I always liked the uh, Cadillac Escalade taillights. Did a little Googling, found that it might be possible to put the Escalade taillights on a GMC Yukon. So my beautiful wife went ahead and got me this for Father's Day. Two of them. And we're going to try to install it. Kiss me, you fool. Kiss me. All right, so this is the tail light assembly. It's huge. Okay, it's actually the right side. So, and it's. I think what I could just do is, I'm gonna have to take apart uh, the inside panels a bit, but I'm gonna try to remove this. It's a separate assembly from this black trim. So I have to remove, I think, all these trim panels. There's two here. I'm going to remove. I'm going to see if I could do it without removing these inside panels. Um, I started removing some stuff on this side just to see what I'm in for. And I kind of feel like I can get away with this without taking apart too much of the inside. Uh, but I think it's going to look cool. So, got the helpers, got the helpers ready. Always wear safety protection, that's why he's got a motorcycle helmet on. You never know. If you're going to be riding a motorcycle in the car. That's right. <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh, let's get started, see how hard this is. You never know what could happen.
All right, so it bolted right up and it plugs in and it also comes with these these two I don't know what these are like battery packs I don't know they're like transistors or something but they plug into two of the plugs on the back of the new light and then you pull the existing harness off and there the new light comes with a, a new harness to replace this guy and I plugged it in and we turn the car on and we don't get any lights we should try it again all right so we'll try it again Jay can you do the honors foot on the brake here put the keys in the center console Put on the brake and then start it. Okay. Don't touch the shifter or the steering wheel. Okay. Put the left blinker on. You know how to do that? No, no, no. Nope. The left side, pull the handle down. No way! It's working? Oh my god! Well, that's part of it. Uh, all right, so turn the blinker off and put it, the right blinker on. Just push it all the way up. That that same knob. Uh, put your foot on the brake. No. Put your foot on the brake. Huh. That's weird. Put the left blink around. Keep your foot on the brake. Oh, Brian, move. Okay, wait, wait. Show him what to do, Brian. Left blinker. Left blinker works. Sorta. Of. Oh, it's flashing really fast. Maybe it has something to do with the packs that I plugged in. I, mean, I wonder if these are the same. O two six eight A. Okay, this works. The blinker works. Does it work? Yes. Alright, let me... Wait, is it shining then? Alright, so basically to get this light out, by the way, you pull, the, you pull these, these two panels off. You pull this bottom one off. It pulls right off like this. This top one just pulls right off also. You can see on the back, there's those clips. You just pull it right off, and there's four uh, T15 screws. There's one there, one there, one here, and there's one up there, one up there. Well, I'll get the last one out here, and I'm going to show you just how easy this is. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four. Film what I'm doing, Jay. There's three screws up top. Get these out. Three screws up top, and you just sort of, you just sort of work this out. These little pins here that, that pull out. Bottom ones, there are two screws and they pull straight out as well. And they're sort of like these bolts. These bolts here that they don't really have nuts on the other side, they just sort of thread in to these grommets. Then down below, 
there is the connector. So, from underneath. All right, good morning, guys. Uh, so, I got a bit of an update here. It's early, really early on Sunday. And uh, I actually was doing some research on this and have basically determined that uh, I have the wrong kind. I have the wrong type or slightly wrong model. Uh, my wife had bought these for me, as I mentioned before, and they are for a 2015 Tahoe, not a Yukon Denali, which I think definitely makes a difference because I did find the correct one did some searching on Amazon and whatnot and I did find the correct one that says it specifically fits a 2015 Yukon Denali and the pictures are slightly different it doesn't seem like it even has those resistor packs so I'm pretty sure that uh, I just have to get the right the right ones and then this should work so so what I'm going to do is take these out, package them back up, the other ones are already on order, and then I will put everything back in. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to leave, let's see, these trim pieces that go right here. Uh, I'm just going to screw the lights and the, and the filler panel in, I'm going to leave these trim pieces off and um, just to make my life easier when I go ahead and get the new ones and go to install them. So it's supposed to rain here. That's why I'm out here so early doing this. I'm gonna get this done so that uh, I'm not doing this in the rain. All right, so sit tight and watch. And I'll make a new video once I get the other ones in, an updated video, all right?
the old ones are back on. Didn't take that long, took about 15 minutes. You know, I was going slow. I have flip flops on. And I'm sort of eating my breakfast at the same time, so it's a really easy install. And like I said, I'm just gonna leave these trim pieces off. That way I can easily get to all the screws. That one there, that one back there, that one there, and that one there. And basically all you need is a T15 Torx driver to do this whole thing. It's really quite simple. You know, assuming that uh, you order the right lights. <laughs> So now that I got it back together, I'm just going to get my kid to step on the brake and everything and uh, make sure that uh, everything's working and then we'll ship these back. Yeah, comes in these two boxes, send them back to China, ask for some new ones. Let's try and get some help here. Hey, Bri? All right. Let's see here. It's probably on the computer. Hey, Bri. Bri. Alexa, drop in on Brian Jr. Hey, Bri. Yeah. Can you come outside and help me for just a second? Okay. All right. Stop. Alexa, stop. Pretty cool, huh? Hello. Hello. Here's the keys. So, just first, just uh, step on the brake pedal for me, and then you can start it up. Okay, you can start it up. There we go. Brakes work. Left signal. Right signal. That works, okay, good. And then brakes. All right, back in business. Back in business. All right, you can turn her off. All right, so that's it for now. <clears throat> I'll uh, make another video once I get the other ones in, and uh, we'll see this uh, completed. See you all next time.